and actually the, I think they've been seen this way. So the machines sooner or later will fade away? Will sooner or later it'll disappear. Remember, basically the structure is like ours. And I don't know, Bill, let it, let it sit out. It's all iron and steel, but eventually it'll rust and fade away and, and disappear and not be worth anything. Give it a few enough years, it'll, the whole world like it. The world changes its structure and it's, leave it alone for years. So if we are talking about 61, 62, 63, and now we are 98, maybe in 30, uh, 35, 36 years, they disappear. Well, I do. I, I never figured what the time element is. I can't tell you if it'll be 35 years, 40, or 50. I've never gotten into that to do that. So I don't know. Really. I can't answer the question. Can, can, I cannot imagine the uh, frustration of these American engineers seeing the machines disappearing in front of their own eyes. Well, there have been frustrations in the extraterrestrial in studying it. It would decompose and it would almost disappear in front of your eyes. What could you do about it? We didn't have enough knowledge to know what to do about it. Well, the human body deteriorates and disappears. Is that possible that the bodies were kept in cryogenic uh, suspension or something like that? I don't think we were that far advanced to do that. Because I knew what Walter Reed and some of these places were doing. I don't think that we were, we were that far advanced to create some sort of liquid or something. And remember, we found that in almost everything we did, that there was one web that went through everything it was electromagnetic. When we were in a position where we used electromagnetic to do something on that order, it killed the crew, the Philadelphia experiment. So you see, we didn't know enough really to use anything like this yet. And a good example is the Philadelphia experiment itself which I just gave you a thing. Unfortunately, people ask me if other people come forward to talk to you. There's one case where the man came forward because of the book to talk to me. Now we're friends. And he was there. That liquid in which the, the body you saw was, uh, was suspended was blue, isn't it? Or bluish? The one I saw, I'm not sure whether it was blue. I turned the flashlight on it. And I'm not real sure that I know what it was. The color was. It looks a grayish, a bluish type, but, but it, I can't what say. Liquid was it? it was a liquid, but remember what it was. It was a liquid that uh, we did to, in our world, to uh, propagate or keep our bo our bodies in existence. Not the thing we got there. Of course, we didn't know any better, so we used that for this body, that other body. But we didn't shut out the electromagnetism. It's the trouble. Or it wasn't there at all. It didn't, it didn't put it in. Though so that that type of fluid was for human bodies. In fact, maybe we'd have been better off to use uh, what the Egyptians used in their mummies, the way they did it, because the liquid was our liquid that we invented in our time to preserve bodies of of humans. It wasn't anything new that was invented on the spur of the moment. That was not possible anyway. Because things like that, it takes years of experiments. So obviously the Americans were going, uh, I mean, step by step, attempting to find solutions in those years, uh, solutions that were not really feasible to the subject. Well, I think the statement that you just made, Mauricio, you give us too much credit. Because in that statement you can say, even Corso worked step by step. Yes, I did. But how much did I really accomplish? You're giving us too much credit when you say that. We didn't really accomplish that much. And the main thing that I see now that we should have worked on, we didn't work on. Let me give you examples. I had von Neumann's foul artificial life. He started, he was a genius. What did I do with it? Put it in my file. We discussed Einstein one day. I decided to go see Einstein. What did I do? I was at the White House. I could have called him. I did nothing. Wilbur Smith came to see me. The general told him, you and the Colonel have a lot to talk about. He said, I'll send you some papers of my experiments and, and come out to Mayboro, his laboratory. When I finally got around seven or eight months later to call the man who was a genius, the secretary answered me, Mr. Smith died 
just a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Again, I missed out on things. You see, we were doing, well, on the other hand, people said, well, you accomplished something. Yeah, I accomplished some things. What about what I didn't accomplish? Uh, and there, there's a situation that's just like that that happened. How much time did I have? How much did I know? You know, you've heard me announce always in the course of the speech, I'll always bring up. Now, don't get the idea, ladies and gentlemen, that we knew what we were doing all the time, because we didn't. And I say that over and over, to let them know that these weren't geniuses working the, on these things. We were people, I was abandoned the people, we were just like them. We weren't geniuses, we advanced our time. We had to plod, slow, little by little, step by step, to find out what was going on, how the, what these things were. But if Einstein was involved in uh, research such as the uh, alien stuff that you had in your hands, do you believe that maybe those steps were a little more uh, faster? Mauricio, if I get to the point where I will publish the book I read, and this is the last thing I'll tell you now, the other one. The one I've written for, that I want to be a sequel to this book, at the end of, end of every chapter, I have an explanation for Einstein, what that means in his terms. I showed it to a couple of scientists, friends of mine. What do you think? Do I explain it enough? He says, well, uh, one thing I was interested to see, that I think you understand Einstein. I thought, I wish I did understand it all. And I fitted them in certain things on this subject that his theories fit in, his explanations. Once a good, uh, one of the top scientists, I know, a good friend of mine, said only in one area did you make a little mistake. The others are all right. Now, I hope someday maybe they'll put that out. But if these people beat me in the law case, I might never put it out. <laughs>